Uh, today, my topic of discussion is heating and cooling. So, students, open your books and come on page 7 and 8. Today, our main topics are radiations and emitters and absorbers. And at the end of the lesson, you students should be able to understand the heat transfer by radiation difference between emitters and absorbers, comparing different emitters and comparing different absorbers. So these are our main objectives. And at the end of the lesson, I hope so that you will explain all of them. Come towards today's topic, radiation. So what is radiation? When we cook food under a grill, heat must travel downwards from a heating element in the grill to the food, okay? If you put something or if you heat something, then you should observe that something will absorb by that food uh, from the burner, okay? And as a result of that, you can feel some hot there or there will be warmth there, okay? This heat cannot be carried out by convection because convection carries out air upwards. There, basically, there are three different modes of transfer of heat. The first one is said to be conduction. The second one is said to be convection. The third one is said to be radiation. So this is our third topic. So earlier I explained conduction and convection, but here I will give you uh, a little information about conduction and convection. Conduction occurs only in solids, okay? Conduction is a process of heat transfer which can only occurs in solids. Uh, and that is the transfer of heat energy from one atom to another and then uh, and then it will be uh, this process will start and it will be so on and so forth and as a result you can observe that the other other end of the metal will also be uh, will also be heated there okay so you can see here uh, you can see there that conduction is only occur in solids by the transferring of heat energy from one atom or from one molecule to another atom or another molecule okay convection is a process that has occur only in liquids and gases okay Convection is a process by which uh, that is only occurs in liquid and gases and that is the actual moment of the atoms or molecule by itself, okay? The molecules or atom itself carry energy and it will move from one place to another place and as a result, uh, the heat should be transferred there, okay? The uh, conduction only the transfer of energy from one atom to another atom, but in convection, the actual moment of atoms or molecules should be should possible there and it is occur in solids and liquids as well now come towards uh, radiations a uh, radiation is a transfer of heat and there is no medium required by itself okay it should be transferred in the form of waves okay just like uh, the heat energy or the uh, light energy comes from the sun okay so you can observe that the sun is too far away from the earth but still the light and energy is coming from the sun it means that something is coming from sun to the earth and as a result, the earth is warm here, okay? So radiation is the process of transfer of heat by, uh, by the motion or by the movement of waves. So the heat cannot be conducted to the food because air is a bad conductor of heat. So there must be another way of moving heat to the food. This is what's so called radiation. Okay, so this is all about the conduction, convection, and radiation. The heat travels uh, as a thin electromagnetic waves called infrared waves. You can observe that uh, heat is coming from sun to the earth in the form of in electromagnetic waves. And um, that will be in the form of infrared waves. The hotter the object is, the more infrared radiation is in. Okay. That it means that the temperature of the object is directly proportional to the emission of heat. Okay. So as a result, if the object is hotter, then uh, more radiation or more infrared radiation will be emitted there. And if the temperature of the object will be lesser than that, then a uh, lesser amount of infrared radiation will be emitted there. No more, uh, uh, earlier I told you that uh, no particles are involved unlike in the process of the conduction and convection. So radiations can even work through the vacuum of space. This is why we can still feel the heat of suns, although it is 150 million kilometers away from the Earth. Okay, so 150 kilometer, uh, million kilometer away, the sun, uh, the sun is from the earth. Uh, so, uh, but although you feel uh, hot there, if you come out to the 
uh, sunny day, then after some time you feel some hot there. Uh, it means that something is coming from the sun to the earth. Okay, and these in the form of emperor's waves. Okay, and it will heat heat up the uh, earth, the surface of the earth, and as a result, the process of photosynthesis and uh, so many uh, processes should perform there. So this is all about the radiation. Here are some examples. You can see here in this picture that a radiation radiation uh, is coming. You can see here that some waves are passing from the food. This is oven, okay? You can see here that some, some waves are passing from the food and as a result, that food absorbs that amount of infrared radiation and as a result, it will be it will be hot there or it will be warm there. You can see here that if the, uh, the fire is burning, okay? The fire is burning and you put, uh, or you place your hands near the fire. So you feel that uh, some, uh, after some time, you feel uh, your, your hands will be hot or your hands will be warm there. Okay, so it means that something is coming from the fire to your hands, and that is in the form of radiation. Okay, that is what so called radiation, and that should be traveled in the form of waves as well. You can see here that these are the waves which can be which comes from this fire towards your hands. Uh, another example is that uh, waves are coming from the sun to the earth. You can see here, okay, these are the rays that is coming from the sun to the earth. And these are in the form of electromagnetic waves, okay? So all of them are the examples of radiations. Emitters and absorbers. Come towards our next topic on page seven. So some surfaces are better, better at emitting, giving off thermal radiation than other. Good emitter of radiation are also good absorbers, okay? Remember one thing that if, if something is good emitter, then automatically that will be good absorber as well, okay? So some surfaces that are better at emitting, they will be also better at absorbing the radiations. Means if something take uh, radiation in a very less time, then it will be emitted their radiation in a very less time as well. White and silvery surfaces are poor absorber because they reflect most of the radiation. Uh, some uh, light colors like silvery surfaces or like white surfaces, they are poor absorber, okay? Because uh, the reason behind it that it will reflect most of the radiation. That is why in hot sunny countries, houses are often painted white to keep them cool inside, okay? Uh, you can observe here, there in uh, our country and uh, most of the countries there uh, in hot uh, sunny days, uh, if there is uh, temperature will be raised there above 40 degrees centigrade. So the people painted their houses uh, white, okay? The reason behind it that the white color reflects most of the infrared rays. Infrared or electromagnetic rays will be reflected by the white light maximum. So as a result, uh, inside their houses will be colder. If they color their houses darker like black or uh, like a blue or some other colors, that are dark, so most of the rays will be uh, absorbed there, and as a result, their houses will be warm there. Comparing emitter, emitters, uh, two metal cans are filled with the same amount of water at the same temperature. You can see here, these are two cans, okay? Both of them have the same temperature and have the same amount of water. Can A has a dark surface, but you can see here, the, the only difference is that can A have different color as compared to can B, okay? That is, its color is darker than that of can B, okay? Has a dark surface and can B has a shiny surface. The graph shows that uh, the water in can A cools quickly. The graph shows that the water at can A cools quickly than in can B. Clearly, a dark surface is better. A dark surface is It's better emitter of the thermal radiation than a shiny surface. You can see here from the graph as well, okay, that this is the graph of the can A and this is the graph of a can B. You can see here that both of them have the same temperature at the start, okay? At the start, both of them have the same temperature, but when uh, time is passing, you can see here that 
the can A loses its temperature very rapidly as compared to that of the can B. You can observe here that its temperature is its temperature loss is quite uh, slower than that of can A. It means that the uh, the brighter are the light colors, the light colors emit uh, radiation slowly as compared to that of the darker colors. Okay, this graph shows that water in can A cools more quickly than can B. Clearly, the dark surface is a better emitter of the thermal radiation than a shiny surface. So you can observe here and you can do this experiment by yourself in your houses as well. Okay, and then you will find your conclusions and you should draw those conclusions on your uh, science notebook as well. Now comparing absorbers. Uh, two metal plates, you can see here, these are the two metal plates, okay? These are the two metal plates. And a thermometer is connected with both the plates, okay? One is shiny and the other one is dark. You can see here that this is a shiny surface and this is a dark plate, okay? And this is what so called a radiant heater, okay? A heater is placed in between these two plates, okay? And a thermometer are connected to both the plates. So thermometers are attached to their base. The plates are fixed at the same distance from the radiant. You can see here that both the plates are placed uh, at the same distance from the heater. Okay. Now you can see here that this graph will tell us about uh, the situation, how much heat should be absorbed and how much heat should be uh, emitted by the uh, by the uh, by different plates okay so this is the graph for the darker surface it means that it absorbs the heat uh, quickly and uh, also it emits the heat uh, uh, or it emits or it radiates the heat uh, quickly as compared to this you can see here this is a shiny surface it took much more time to absorb the same amount of heat okay it takes some more time to absorb the same amount of heat from the heater and also it will take the same time for releasing such amount of heat that can be absorbed by this radiant. Okay, so you can see here that there are quite a large difference between the dark surface and the shiny surfaces. The dark surfaces absorb heat quickly and as a result it will be radiate the heat quickly. And in shiny surfaces it will take much more time to absorb the heat, the same amount of heat that 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 was absorbed by the dark surfaces and uh, radiate the same amount of heat slowly as compared to that of the dark, dark surfaces. So this is all about the absorbers. Okay. Now this is uh, what's so called common page eight. Okay, this is a solar panel. Okay, you can see this panel above your buildings or you can see this panels above your houses uh, most of most of the houses uses this sort of panels you can see here that this panel is a combination of glass okay or a clear plastic cover uh, at the above surfaces there's there is a glass or a plastic cover will be there you can see here that network of water pipe should be passing from there okay this is a network of water pipe you can see here Okay, this is the blackened layer. This is this surface is so-called the blackened layer, and this is what so-called insulator storage tank of warm water. This is the storage tank, and these water pipe passing from this storage tank. And as a result, what happens that some buildings have solar panels on their low <coughs> roof. Solar panels use some radiations from the suns to heat water, and the blackened layer absorbs the radiant energy and warm of the water flowing in the pipe. Okay. Uh, as a result of this procedure, uh, you should observe that uh, after some time, uh, the tank should be warm there, okay? The water in the tank should be warm there. And uh, this is so, what so called a solar panel and it will absorb the sun energy, okay? And the sun energy is placed on the surface of the, uh, the plastic surfaces or the glass surfaces, that energy should be absorbed there. And that energy should be transmitted there to the water that is passing there. And as a result, that water will come towards the tank and as a result, uh, it will make the water the, the water inside the tank should be warm there so this is all about the uh, solar panel assignment uh, now your today's assignment says uh, not uh, write down the answer on your science notebook okay these are the questions then you should find the answer of these questions by yourself okay in hot countries houses are often painted white 
okay explain why because white color reflect most of the radiation so that's why they should paint it white their houses to avoid heat on a hot summer days at the inside of the white car is cooler than the inside of the black car because white color reflects most of the radiation and black color absorb most of the radiation so that's why uh, in hot summer days uh, white color white cars are cooler than that of the black cars aluminum foil helps keep food warm because aluminum foil is silvery color and as a result it will reflect most of the radiation so it will helps to keep food warm there. Central heating radiators works better if they are painted black because it, uh, in black color it will absorb most of the radiation so that's why uh, it will absorb most of the radiation and as a result uh, uh, the radiators will be heated there. They will be get some more heated there. Now come towards the review of today's topic. Okay, today we are talking about radiation is the transfer of heat by electromagnetic waves called infrared waves. The radiation is transferred in the form of electromagnetic waves and they are also called infrared waves. Unlike conductors and convection, particles are not involved in radiation. Emitters are the surfaces that quickly radiates or emit heat. Emitters are the surfaces that are quickly radiate or emit heat, whereas absorbers are the surfaces that quickly absorb heat. Good emitters are good absorbers. And solar panels uses the thermal radiations from the sun to heat the water. 